Hello everyone. Well, I got uh, my electronics all mounted to the board and I'm going to be putting on to the uh, side of the machine. Uh, just real quickly, here's the uh, stepper drivers. These are for the X, this is for the Y, and this is for the Z. Uh, two power supplies. <clears throat> They're different wattages, that's why I have two. Um, three of the drivers will be run off of the one. Um, the X's and the Y, and then the Z will run off this power supply. So basically I have everything wired, power going to the drivers. Um, I've mounted my breakout boards. I've got two on here. This one come with the uh, CNC kit. This is one I, I ordered from uh, Zap Automation. Um, in order to operate the relay I needed a 12 volt power supply. I got a 12 volt transformer. Dummy me didn't read the box. It's a 12 volt AC output, so I'm gonna to have to get a couple diodes so I can convert that to uh, DC. Now, one of the things I did for the 5 volt and the input outputs to the drivers, I used a Cat5 cable, and what I did was I brought them through the back of the board, and since it's eight wires, I was able to use four on each of the ones pulse. Uh, direction and to two five volts and what I did was I brought them through the back of the board here and this uh, eliminates keeping it, uh, it keeps it away from all the other power uh, generations going on here and I did uh, you know just twisted some pairs for the uh, 48 volts going to the uh, drivers and what I did here then is the input I just took uh, two of the wires that went to the drivers um, for the 5 volts combined together and then I have a 5 volt then I have a direction and then I have a step the enables I won't be using because I actually had to set this jumper set here um, if you look at this board you have to actually disable the enables um, in order to use the relay there's a, a relay on here that allows you to, um, to turn uh, in outputs off and on and there's four outputs on here that you can utilize. Um, the first one is normally closed, or excuse me, normally open. The next set is normally closed, normally open, normally closed. So here's the little relay right there. Um, and then this is the spindle output for the uh, pulse modulation, which goes to the VFD then. So you have the 10 volts coming in from the VFD you have the uh, P output for the variable frequency for the variable voltage uh, and then the ground and then the way I've had this set up on in my uh, initial testing is the first set here uh, will close according to the software will close the uh, run circuit on the VFD and activate the spindle so 12 volts coming in here have to be applied to run the relay uh, for these outputs. Then there's a 5 volt input for the board. You can either hardwire it or you can pull a USB cable uh, from your PC. This is the other breakout board that come with the uh, NC kit and it's pretty basic, pretty straightforward. These are all your outputs if you want to run other accesses and so forth. These are inputs for limit switches and so forth and then you have uh, two inputs for five volts and I'll probably put another uh, parallel port in my computer so I can utilize the uh, inputs and outputs on this board at some point so right now um, basically everything's wired together uh, I want to go ahead and mount it to the side of the machine after I do that then I'll review where it's at and how it looks um, then I have to apply uh, main power uh, with a switch and uh, then run all my access wires and attach them to the drivers. So that's it for right now. I'll uh, update you with the next video. Thanks for watching.